Hey everybody, uh, Snaring Relics, and I'm Paul. Glad you guys come back. Um, I'm going to be showing some uh, gassers today. Um, the box art and that, I don't have them built yet. <clears throat> so, uh, as soon as I get started, my dog starts barking. Great Pyrenees. So, 140 pounds of love, but loves to tell everybody about it. So, I'm sorry. Well, anyway, let's keep rolling. Um, I've got a Ravel. They printed that box upside down. Can you believe that? Uh, the 50 Austin Coupe. Everybody's seen this one. This is not that long ago this one's been around. Kind of looking forward to get started on that one. I've seen some uh, uh, different front ends for it. Uh, and I, I don't know, I haven't really checked into it. I've just seen them on, on eBay and that. And then the, the Anglia. You know, you guys have seen that one before too. Uh, this one's a Spikes. Fiesta of the 50s type of thing. So, uh, yep. Another tilt front end. So, but the ones I really want to show you are my, my Henry J. And... This one, my uh, Willie's pickup. Um, I bought this one at a, at a swap meet, uh, I think last year. And this one, I uh, I shamed my buddy into selling it to me. <laughs> I'm sorry, Phil. I, to, I shouldn't say that. No, he's, he's a good friend of mine. So I've been after one of these for a long time, and he had one, and I believe this is the original. I'm not 100% sure on that, but it's, it's got to be close if it's not. So let's do an unboxing of this crazy thing. What do you say? Let me turn you down here a little bit. All right, there's the box, and it's more of the box art. These are really sharp. This was when, uh, right about the time, I guess, when they stopped doing the drawing and start doing actual photos of the, of the cars uh, and then I imagine they touched them up with the you know whatever they had going but the cool thing about this kit is the color that that is some really cool looking molding uh, it's it's got a metal flake to it um, I, I'm about half tempted just to clean it up a little bit and clear coat it uh, I really really like that uh, the only thing is it's got one of these crazy whoop de doo uh, swirls in it in that in that molding right in there I don't know if I can get it to pick up or not but I may end up putting a decal or something there I know the the uh, parachute will end up going there so that'll hide a lot of it so I'm seriously thinking about doing just that. You know, and then go ahead and paint and everything else. But that that is such a cool looking molding. Man, I really just about got myself. I'm almost certain that's what I'm going to end up doing. So, since I got the body out, let's, uh, let's do a quick look at these instructions. Of course, you know, they're just your uh, basic old instructions that came in the Ravel kits back then each piece comes out I'm not going to get too far into it but that gives you a quick look at them um, and then of course you guys know this has got that two piece fenders yay can't wait for that and since I got it out and it's sitting here I got yellow uh, windshield covers, windshield for it, tail or back glass, and a decal set. So that one's not been touched. Uh, now, whoever had it before did get started on it, and posable steering. How about that? And it works. So I don't have to mess with that. Just need to clean it up a little bit, get it painted. I believe that's about all that's been worked on on this car. So that's kind of sweet. Uh, 
Here's your black parts. A couple of nice buckets. There's no uh, seat belts in them, but they're pleated real nice. Uh, engine, um, parachute, wheel backers. Uh, let's see what we got going here. We've got uh, half leaf springs. I don't know if those are for the wheelie bars or not. I'm not sure. Uh, front shocks, drive shaft, uh, traction bars or ladder bars. And uh, it looks about it on that. And then uh, got some more of the red. This is pretty cool. I just really like that color, man. That's real nice coloring to it. So, and then it's got the pleated interior. I don't know if the new ones are this way or not. I, I have not seen a new one. I would assume it is, but uh, I don't know. I, I really can't say. It looks like quite a bit of flashing going on here, but that can get cleaned up. Everything can get cleaned up, right? Uh, we've got the hood, fenders, fender, and part of the fender. <laughs> so, oh yeah, I'm not looking forward to that. But we'll see. We'll see how it goes. But that's that'll that'll be down the road a little bit. There is some scuffing up on the on the hood. On all the way across uh, but I think I can get that buffed out that shouldn't be too too difficult because um, I really do think I'm gonna not paint this one I just I love that I don't do that too often in fact I probably have done it only two or three times rear end rear end looks good uh, everything's there and then it's got the, uh, the slicks they're all you know, four pieces, the hard slicks. Uh, Ravel did that quite a bit. And then the front tires, same way. So, yeah, everything's there. Let's see. Let's take a quick look at the chrome. Chrome's not bad. Um, I, I've seen better, but, you know, it's not real bad. Uh, so, we've got some, some mags here. Um, I don't know. I'm not a big fan of these. But they'll work. That's what come with it. So we'll run with it. I'll probably de-chrome a lot of this engine stuff. Uh, fan belt. These are those big old uh, Echo Can deals that were on the exhaust. Right here. Don't like those. That's just me. But we'll see how, how we end up playing with that. Um... Some good looking headers. They're just real small on the on the parts that come out. Uh, so I don't know if we'll change up the headers or what. I could end up changing the headers up on it. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see what it does. But yeah, that's that's a quick opening up on that. I just wanted to give you guys a, a look see on this kit. I know uh, you guys, most of you guys have seen these before. Uh, but I just love that molding, man. I thought I'd show that off for sure. And we'll do a quick unboxing on this one. I got this one, I think it was last spring. So, uh, let's take a quick look at it. This one's molded in a purple. So, and it's got an opening hood. This is not anything unusual. This kit's been re-released several times. Uh, so it's got the drag slicks, the two-piece two drag slicks and front tires as well. Um, instruction sheet, really don't need to go through it. I mean, you guys have seen these. This one's just like the newer stuff, really. Uh, box. Uh, the doors and the interior doors. Pan. Uh dashboard roll cage some fenders that looks pretty good and then on this one everything's on the trees yet this one looks a whole lot like the other one there uh, so it, it 
probably most yeah, it probably should be, you know. Same thing I see it, yep. You know. And then uh it's got the little tunnel cover for the trunk or for the truck bed. Chrome piece. Now these this chrome here is a lot better than the other one. Uh although it being the same same thing uh as the other one, but uh it's just it just took a little bit better. Uh clear for the windshield and back glass. And the decals on this one are right here, moving violation. So not sure if I'll use those or not. I've got several of them out there. I could probably end up using, you know, something like this, you know, like that Noah's uh, arc welding and that kind of stuff. I could probably do something like that. So I've got a bunch of different decals for it anyway. So that's really all I got going on, guys. Uh, I just kind of want to let you guys see what I had going with these. I've got uh, a bunch of different older kits, and uh, I've been wanting to show these off because I, I like these. So, All right, guys. Uh, hey, if you, if you like what you saw today, uh, give me a like. Give me a thumbs up. Uh, if you guys are new to around here, uh, give me a subscribe, you know, um, I always, en always enjoy seeing, you know, new people show up and, uh, so always try to re respond to every, everybody that does. Uh, I'm getting a little bit behind. I haven't been out to see everybody else's channels yet. I've been a little busy, so, but I need to get out there and do that. Okay, guys, I appreciate you all. I'll talk at you later. Bye-bye.